tonight is energy. It's May 21st, I believe. So we did a little bit of technique in the beginning. We talked about leaders that you offer two middle fingers and making it consistent on both the left and right hand hold. And you can connect deeper in the follower's palm. So followers, you're gonna connect at the base of the palm, then mold your fingertips around those two fingers. So when you go to compression, to stretch, you're gonna be able to catch that connection much more effectively in the skeletal structure of the body and much faster, more efficient. When you keep it at the follower's waist level, you're gonna be able to feel the hips move in the follower. Whereas many of you are wanting to connect up here, especially on stretch movements, and if you do that, you're connecting more at the follower's shoulder level. So you wanna keep it more at the follower's waist, and most of the time, leaders, you're adjusting to the follower because generally you're going to be taller than most of the followers that you dance with. When we get into a closed connection, we talked also about the base of the palm underneath the follower's left armpit. If you need a phrase to think about, think commit to the pit, and that'll hopefully stick. If you curl your fingertips around the rest of her shoulder blade, that's going to create a lot more mobility and freedom in your follower's spine creating a lot more um, fluidity between the patterns that you lead. Um, on the starter step, one and two, you set the track, three and four, instead of going back to the side. That way when you lead on one, you've immediately already started the dance off with her feeling comfortable that she knows where the track is. Um, we talked about catching the connection. So catching the connection and compression you feel that in the base of the follower's palm, and then if an absorption needs to occur, this bend of the wrist can happen, and leaders, if you need it, you can slightly absorb in the wrist, but make sure that you're not taking it there. When you go from a compression to a stretch, you feel it first in the fingertips, then you can absorb. One question I didn't get answered, I apologize, is the length of the frame. If you take your arm across your stomach to where your fingertips are at the back of the elbow, that's about as long as I want to get. And when my fingertips hit the wrist, that's about as short as I want to get in my frame. You can have stretch or compression in any various length of frame in that range of motion. The pattern that we did was under our, off of and under our pass. One, two, three, and four. And we talked about you can do a left side pass from there. Advanced leader's footwork, we'll do it from this way. If you want to play with a one-footed um, spin out of that, you can. Switch hands here. You can play with a one-footed spin. Under our pass, lots of variations. Go with the flow. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys when I get back on the floor.